Hi everyone, I'm Cassidy. This is my little garden helper, Cecily. And today, with some virtual help from Missouri Botanical Garden arborist, Dave Gunn, we're gonna plant a tree. And before we start, we need to make sure that we're planting the tree in the right place. The right tree for the right place is crucial. So the first thing you wanna do is take an honest look at the site that you're planting. Um, is, you know, is it next to a sidewalk? Is it under power lines? Is it right next to your house? Is it under a structure like an awning? Also consider how much light and water. Is it a really wet spot? Is it a really dry spot? Um, is it full sun? Is it full shade? Is it partial shade? So we decided to plant this tree. Okay. And it's a good day. What kind of tree is this? Service berry. You say it loud to the camera? Service berry. A service berry. Another thing we want to do before we dig is make sure that we're not going to hit any utilities. So we use the Missouri One Call system to have our utilities marked to make sure we don't have any issues with that. It's always best to get things flagged and marked and know what you're dealing with before you start uh, sticking a shovel in the ground. All right, we've got our utilities marked. We know where we're going to put the tree. So now we need to dig a hole. Uh, but it's not quite that simple. Because we will find a worm. We'll find some worms. Yeah. Yeah, but how big should the hole be? Deep as we can put the, this tree in. So That's right. My friend Dad, my dad, he's trying to dig a whole bunch. So you want a hole that is about two or three times wider than your root ball there, than the, the container size. Um, but you don't want to go any deeper. A common mistake that people make is, or that you see, is that trees get planted too deep. If they get planted too deep, then the root systems get buried under soil and they suffocate. I like this one. They're the best. And we love them. So we've got the hole just about dug. Uh, for any of you that have ever had the pleasure of digging in city of St. Louis soil, found lots of stone surprises on this dig. My uh, little garden helper has gone in for a snack, so it's just me. Uh, now that we've got the hole dug, we're ready to put the tree in it. I never saw beetles. It's like the Beatles song. Now I've got the tree in the ground at the proper depth. Uh, I've got it backfilled with dirt, and now it's time to mulch. Yes, I would definitely um, apply some kind of top dressing. Uh, you can do a wood mulch, you can do a leaf litter, you can do a compost. There are a lot of um, good things you can use. I would stay away from, uh, you know, some of the artificial, like the uh, recycled tire mulches or anything that's inorganic. I would stay away from that. Now that we've got the mulch down, what is it time to do? Time to water it. Time to water it. You want to do it? Hold it. Okay, get all the way around the mulch. We talked about providing the nutrition. The next most important thing that helps them rebound from that is supplying plenty of water. Um, the first two or three weeks, you almost can't water too much. Um, and there we go. Our tree is planted, mulched, and watered. And now what do we do? Now we get to watch it grow. All right. Thanks, everybody. If you have any more questions about planting a tree in your own yard, uh, you can get tips from the Kemper Center for Home Gardening. Uh, just visit gardeninghelp.org. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.